have you the ability to uh, get coins, and I think Bennett would probably uh, will probably cringe at this <laughs> quite a bit. Um, the ability to get coins uh, around regulation is actually a pretty strong motivator in a lot of times. Uh, <laughs> the problem with that, though, I have to be fair, the problem with that, though, is that the motivation is strong. But we have also observed over the years that a lot of times it is it turns out to be not strong enough, especially for larger and larger businesses and organizations. And the reason, so uh, there is a, a lot of push for stable coins and so on, but stable coins come with their own regulation problems. The reason I said that it comes with, uh, this model comes with problems for businesses and organizations is that they have different, a lot of times, you know, to run a business efficiently, you have different risk appetites. So if you have this different risk appetites and you receive crypto and the crypto is not as, you know, quote unquote stable, then uh, you, it's really hard to run an organization efficiently, especially when you get big. Um, and so uh, sometimes people will say, oh, uh, it doesn't matter. You just uh, go to a provider like BitPay. But then, you know, you go to BitPay and some, sometimes they do that because the Bitcoin community uh, provides them with additional income. Um, but then they go to BitPay and then they lose a huge chunk of that benefit of going around regulation. Um, so yeah, it is in a weird place. Uh, there are companies on Bitcoin Cash uh, and also other places that try to address this. Um, and, then, and then there are stable, stable coins, which is a whole other huge topic. Um, but yeah, the situation is quite a bit more complicated than you know, a simple black and white, oh, we solved this versus you will never solve this kind of thing.